Scorpio. Scorpio, let's get into this. I am using a new deck for you. Uh, this is the Fairy Forest. Uh, I've not used this one in a reading before. I just really like the artwork. This is an Oracle deck. Feel free to let me know what you think of this deck in the comments below. But to get things rolling, we see Salu. This is vitality, health, and energy. This can be a focus uh, for you right now. <clears throat> Where... Do I have my whole deck upside down? I do have my whole deck upside down. So we have the King of Pentacles, Karma, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. There is the stableness that you may be looking for. With the Karma card here, this can be something from the past that you enjoyed or have been enjoying. But <clears throat> something can be coming back for you where you need to start looking at your health. Maybe there are, for some of you, failing, not failing, um, different issues that are cropping up health-wise. And we can see that it does take its toll on you with the Queen of Cups here. But also that we have the Ace of Wands. This can also lead you into a different direction um, for taking on sort of a healthier uh, step in life. <clears throat> now we have Initiate initiate uh, curiosity open and warm and oath promise pledge or contract and I've got other cards that are flying out right now and this is in your desire and this seems to be that for some of you you are desiring some type of certainty and with the king of pentacles here I get that certainty is something that you're focused on, that security. With There are things that you are wondering around that as well. This desire to know what's going on around you and how things are affecting you and your life. With the Four of Swords, we can see that there is a bit of a withdrawal to reevaluate a situation, a situation that may not really have been fair, but at the same time with the Page of Swords here, it is something that you're delaying taking sort of any action towards. It's just a thought process at this particular point. Uh, you're just gathering sort of those types of things. And then, of course, before the gathering, celebration, anticipation, uh, or event. So we can see that that actually does come through. In the outcome, there is this information or whatever that comes through. And with the shadow side here, also the devil card, it is something that serves to clear up some misconceptions. There's been points where you may have been hurt, uh, on guard, and really just focused on self <clears throat> with the nine and nine here. And we see that there may have been some deception there. We have the fool. We have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. With a step up in the game here, you can see that there is a possibility, or this, what is working for you, is it's almost like you're starting from ground zero. You're starting to um, be busy with the things that you're doing, but there's uncertainty onto how to get out of a situation that has been burdensome for some time. And so as we look at that with this fool here, this allows you to sort of let all of that go and move forward. <clears throat> the Knight of Cups, we have what you need to be aware of, followed by the Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Magician. There's a lot of emotional energy here that you may be creating. With the Magician here, Virgo energy, this is possibility of love or an apology coming in, but there's so much uncertainty as to what to do and how long this is actually going to be around for you. <clears throat> this could be you, this could be them. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun card. 
And to me, this is learning about the future in the future that you are wishing to create. And it seems like you are on the right track with figuring those things out very much like we were pulling the cards earlier where there was a lot of thought processes going on but not necessarily taking that action <clears throat> so let's pull one more card for you taking a, this is she who laughs humor perspective and mirth so this is looking at the lighter side of things, um, maybe looking at all things overall and s focusing on those things that give you that perspective where you might not normally go, going into a different, you know, maybe you look at something one way, maybe it's just time to twist it just a little bit and see what things are actually in there rather than coloring it with a perspective. Scorpio, that's what I have for you today. Feel free to let me know how you like this new deck in the comments below. Feel free to give this a reading, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.